In 2015, a friend of mine told me about this old car site. Then recently, another friend told me about uh, a Model A being in here. That was enough to get me interested. I did find a Model A. In fact, I found two. But then he told me he was sure there was a two-door sedan in here. Then I found this partial sedan at the other end of the site. As I examined it, I became certain that it was not a Model A. Model A's didn't have trims that went straight around the back of the body like this. They tended to curve upward. So the next time I came, I did notice that it had uh, striking similarities to the Model A, and then I was less sure again. Some of those similarities are like this door post, which is similar to a 28 or 9 here. And the step plate, which looks like a, a Ford step plate to me. Could it be some sort of Model A I wasn't familiar with? Maybe a Victoria? I went online and found the answer. Uh, the partial nature of this car fooled me entirely. The roof just ends here. But I thought that it curved up and over like a Model A. Wrong. The roof stops there and goes straight across. This, as some of you car guys out there have already guessed, is a Model T two-door sedan. Perhaps a 1926 or 27. One can note how strong the body remains after sitting out here on the edge of a swamp for the last 50 years. It's really incredible. See the strength of the door post. The floor rail here, virtually like new, the sub rail. You see where it was in the ground, how the ground rots it? A slight bend to that one. The ground is the worst enemy. So, um, everything is pretty strong. Even that door support. As I said, the lack of a roof fooled me into thinking it was a later car. I think this is what fooled my friend too. And he has a 1926 Model T two-door sedan. And there is the fact that we are looking at it upside down. We're about to haul it out of here and add it to the collection. Maybe bolt it to a frame. Stay tuned. <laughs>